Okay, today we're going to be answering a question that was posted in the forums uh, from Gremlin. And basically he wants to know how you can get a user input and then replace the last two uh, letters or last letter of that string. Uh, and we're going to basically do that. Let's see, let's get uh, my terminal up here. Here we go. Okay, uh, let's uh, jump right into Vim and we'll create a script. We'll call it replace end, oops, dot sh. We'll start it off with our bin bash, letting our operating system know that this is going to be a bash script. And first thing we're going to do is get user input. We're going to get a word, the first word, the original word that we're going to replace the last letters of. We're going to say echo dash n. That means don't create a new line. So when they type it, it's going to be at the end of this line instead of under this line. And we're going to say type a word. And then we're going to get the user's input using the read command. Uh, I've gone over pretty much all this in the past. Uh, read command, and we're going to create a variable called reply. Um, now we have to get the length of reply and as I previously showed you in a recent tutorial if we do dollar sign squiggly bracket or braces if you will then the pound sign and the name of our variable which is reply that is the length of that string and we're gonna need that uh, so we're gonna set x equal that so we're creating a new variable called x and saying it to the length of our reply and we're going to put let because we're going to do some mathematical uh, manipulations with this and let lets you know that this variable is going to be an integer. Uh, okay so now we've got our original word now we have to get the letters that we want to substitute the end of that word in. So we're going to say echo and once again we're going to ask the user input something. We're going to say type the end you would like to substitute. Hopefully I spelled everything right there. Um, obviously that's not very clear and if you're writing a program you want to be a little bit more clear on what you're asking but this is a tutorial and uh, you'll see if you don't understand what we're doing but basically let's say we input the word um, Chris and that would be the original word our reply up here and then we're, what letters we're going to replace? Let's say we want to replace the last two letters. That's the input we're getting here. And we're just going to create a variable called new end. So we got that. And now we're going to say let y equal and i and y will be the length of new end. So we'll say dollar sign braces or squiggly brackets, like I like to call them, new end. Now we want to get the difference of those. So we're going to say uh, if oh, I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Z equals dollar sign X minus dollar sign Y. So if the original word is Chris and you input the, you know, two new letters, T-O, our difference would be two. Uh, if there, if X is 10 characters and Y is five, then, then Z will be five. If Y is four, then Z will be six and so on and so forth. Now, we need to make sure the, that Y is not longer than X because then you'll be replacing more letters than there are to replace. So we're going to say if dollar sign Y is greater than dollar sign X, then what are we going to do then? And in here we're going to put a message, uh, but I'm also going to just complete our if then statement by putting FI so I don't forget later on. And we're going to say echo sorry substitution is too long and we will just exit the script at that point now if y is not longer than x which we're hoping it's not what are we going to do we're going to say else echo and what are we going to echo? We're going to echo out basically the new word, the original word with whatever letters we want replaced at the end. And the way we're going to do this, and now pay attention here, this is the complicated part. We're going to say reply colon zero colon dollar sign Z and then close our brackets there. Then dollar sign new end and then close our parentheses. And what we're saying here is 
we are taking our input of reply. We're starting at zero, so the very beginning of that word. And we're going to go to Z, which is the difference of these. So basically, if reply is 10 characters and Y is four characters, then we're going to leave from the first through the fifth or through the sixth letter. And then we're going to add on the new end. And we'll run the script and it will make more sense, hopefully, once you see that. So we're going to first make it executable. We saved our script. We're going to say change mod plus X, replace, uh, and, you know, replace the name of our script there. So now we're going to dot slash run that. We're going to hit enter and it's going to say type a word. And I'll just type in Chris. I'll hit enter and it says now uh, type the end you would like to substitute. I'll just say E-N, just two random letters. We'll hit enter and there we go. We have got our original word, Chris, but we replaced the last two letters with E-N. Um, we can do this again. We'll run it again. This time I'll say Metal X 1000. And then I'll say uh, 2000. We'll hit enter, and you can see it replaced the 1000 with the 2000. We can do it again. Metal X 1000. And we'll say 5555. Five, five, five. We'll hit enter, and you can see it replaced the end there. And if we put in too much, so we'll say Chris again, and then we'll say Metal X 1000, which is longer than our original, it's going to say, sorry, substitution is too long, and then exit out of the script. So I hope that answers your question, and helps you with whatever project you're working on, uh, Gremlin. And I'll post this in the forum, and there's also a post on my site about this. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.